so uh, I mean, to, to be frank, uh, Twitter was having pretty serious revenue challenges and cost challenges um, before the acquisition talks started. And a any company that is dependent on advertising um, has had a hard time. So uh, if you look at, say, Snap uh, or you know, uh, Google, Facebook, whatnot, they've all had a difficult time with uh, advertising revenue dropping. Um, and t Twitter is more, uh, you know, currently uh, more vulnerable than they are to uh, advertising because most of Twitter's advertising is large brand advertising as opposed to direct response. So it's kind of like a much more of a discretionary uh, ad spend than it is for, uh, you know, if, like if you if you if you can do direct response for a specific product. Um, so, and, and then we also recently have had a lot of difficulty with um, uh, activist groups uh, pressuring uh, major advertisers to stop spending money on Twitter. Um, this is despite us doing everything possible to appease them um, and to make it clear that moderation rules and hateful conduct rules have not changed uh, and we're continuing to enforce them. Um, the, a, a number of major advertisers have stopped spending on Twitter. Um, so this, but this is this doesn't seem right because um, we've made no change in our operations at all, and um, but nonetheless, the activist groups have been successful in, in in causing a massive drop in Twitter advertising revenue, and we've done our absolute best to appease them, and nothing is working. So this is a major concern, because, and I think this is frankly an attack on the First Amendment. Um, like, if, if activist groups can pressure uh, advertisers upon which Twitter is fundamentally dependent um, to, you know, su suppress free speech, then that doesn't seem right. 